Hi crypto enthusiasts, today I'm going to answer why there are only 21 million bitcoins and what will happen when they are all mined. First, to understand this limitation, it is necessary to remember what cryptocurrency mining is. Mining means acquiring new bitcoins without having to buy the cryptocurrency from someone, you get them through computational effort. To make it easier to understand, we can compare this process to gold mining. You can buy the precious metal somewhere or you can venture out and search for a nugget in nature. All miners need to work is a specialized computer for the job, nothing fancy beyond that. When a new Bitcoin is created, miners dive into a massive database called the blockchain, which acts like a ledger where all transactions are recorded, to solve cryptographic puzzles and compete for the same block of transactions. It's like a race. Everyone's competing to solve the puzzle first. And what's the prize for winning this race? New Bitcoins. They are rewarded with Bitcoin fragments which were not yet circulating on the network and transaction fees paid by users. These fees help keep users mining as they are responsible for validating transactions and securing the network. Cool, right? Did you know that back in 2009, miners were getting a whopping 50 Bitcoins for each block they mined? But this number has gradually decreased over time. Every four years, that reward gets cut in half, a process known as halving, which is typically the time needed to mine 210,000 blocks. Its purpose is to slow down the rate at which new Bitcoins are created and introduced to the market, avoiding inflation and increasing the cryptocurrency's scarcity. This is also why the maximum supply of Bitcoins is set at 21 million. This limit helps set future expectations, making sure Bitcoin stays valuable in the long run. So fewer Bitcoins mean higher demand and you guessed it a higher price. This digital scarcity is similar to the scarcity of natural resources. Just as gold is scarce on Earth, Bitcoin is scarce on the Internet. Crypto enthusiasts, have you ever stopped to think that there are around 8 billion people in the world while the maximum number of Bitcoins is capped at 21 million units. Doing a quick calculation, this would mean that if every person on the planet invested in Bitcoin, there would be only 0.0026 BTC per person. But wait, it gets even more shocking. Around 4 million Bitcoins are believed to be lost forever. They've been inactive for over 10 years. So in reality, when all is said and done, there will only be about 18 million Bitcoins available. Talk about serious scarcity. Now, you might be wondering what will happen when the last Bitcoin is mined. We're talking about the year 2140, so a century from now. But it's safe to say that the amount of coins in circulation will become permanently fixed. No more new coins will be created. One of the main consequences of approaching and eventually reaching Bitcoin's supply limit is that mining the cryptocurrency will become much less profitable. But don't worry, even after the last Bitcoin is mined, miners won't be left empty handed. They'll still earn uh, rewards from transaction fees just not from new Bitcoins. This is why holding Bitcoin could be a smart move. It's designed to keep its value over time, unlike traditional currencies that can lose value due to inflation. When the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, began the project, he already intended to create a scarce asset. Traditional currencies have no issuance limit, which can lead to rampant inflation. This doesn't happen with Bitcoin precisely because it's a limited currency that consequently functions as a store of value. And that's awesome, isn't it? Um, who knows, maybe in the near future, you know, companies might like eventually have large investment funds holding Bitcoin in their portfolios or even, you know, countries adopting it as a reserve currency. Nothing is impossible, right? All this demand not only drives innovation, but also adds value to the cryptocurrency and builds trust in the network. As Bitcoin continues to gain acceptance and adoption worldwide, its limited supply will keep making it more valuable and attractive. Amazing, right? So grab your pickaxes, crypto enthusiasts, and keep mining because the most famous cryptocurrency in the world is far from ceasing to be profitable. But before we say goodbye, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and share the video with your peers. See you soon.